Hello everybody, welcome to Shopkeep. This recently released early access game on Steam uh, puts you in the role of a shopkeeper in a fantasy RPG world. So basically the questers and peasants and wizards and whatnot uh, come visit your shop in order to arm themselves with weapons, potions, armor, all that good stuff for their adventures out in the world, which you never actually see. You just sit in your shop and wait for them to come by. It's, it's an interesting take on the role. I like the idea of you filling the role of the usual NPC shopkeeper. Uh, it does come out today, uh, j uh, not June, not July, August 20th. Cormac, stop squeaking your toy right next to me. And I'm finally getting my hands on it. I did the first scenario. I played around a little bit. So the tutorial is very basic. It just allows you to read, uh, go over the basics, which I'll summarize for you once we actually get into the game. And it's very bare bones or relaxes right now. Actually, not too much. It's got 19 scenarios right now, as well as uh, my shop mode you unlock once you complete the first scenario. Options, pretty basic. Resolution options, motion blur, camera sway, edge, edge detection. I want to see what it looks like with that on and off. I actually haven't experimented that yet. Mouse sensitivity, I need it lower because I had it reset the progress. The so mouse was a little too sensitive to start, so I went ahead and lowered that. And no blood. Nah, man. I want blood. Okay, we're going to hop right in the first scenario. The first step. Welcome, aspiring shopkeeper. Good news, you have inherited this shop. Go make some gold. P.S. Press plus or minus to change the price of an item. We're going to load that up. Right away. Okay, first step. Okay, you will be additionally taxed for uh, 25 gold for every 5 minutes. Keep your shop appeal no less than 0% on inspection every 5 minutes. The goal for the first scenario is f uh, 55,000 gold. But it's not really. You'll see what I mean. That's just the current goal. You you'll see what I mean. So here we are. in a lovely little shop. Let's see what that edge detection looks like on and off. Okay, so it, it doesn't really do too much. Hmm. Definitely leave it on. It's part of the style. It's kind of going... Well, that's what people call sh cell shading. They always... Or that's what people call edge detection. They often refer to it as cell shading, even though it's edge detection. I'm getting a weird, like... My head is turning when I walk. Again, this is very... Uh, first day early access. Just came out today with the alpha build. Uh, I think it's on sale of like 10% off, so you can get this for 450 right now on Steam. Pretty good deal, in my opinion. These things are backwards. So here's a little shop. Uh, we got various things to place. Items, um, various shelvings, uh, hat stands, a uh, nice little table right in the center, little tables, and some big old shelves for smaller items. And once we're ready, we're going to go ahead and open the shop, but we're nowhere near that right now. First things first, we need to order some items. So we're going to come to our back room, press Q, and load up on some items. So there's this is all there so far. So we have uh, potions, some shields. Uh, some gloves, boots, arrows, a uh, nice little Skyrim helmet right there. That's pretty neat. Uh, we're just going to start off by ordering a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to randomly click around. Just because this is the very first scenario. Not super important. Actually, I want a lot of potions. Because those shelves can hold 12 potions each. Uh, that's going to cost us about a thousand. And it's going to deliver them. Takes a little bit of time. Um, while that's going, I'll show you some of the other systems we have. There's an upgrade system, so you can upgrade yourself, uh, upgrade portals, and then upgrade morale, looks like. Hmm. Uh, this you spend K. I'm not sure what this K is. Hmm. Not entirely sure what it is, <laughs> what, like, the unit measurement is. Okay, and you can also see your t statistics. So we have dead bodies, skeletons, ash, floor dirt. You'll see, you'll, you'll learn more about that later. Okay, cool. Looks like our items have been delivered. We're going to want to pick that up. And with the keys, or with the number of keys, so have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This allows you to um, do different states. We have shopkeep, using broom, using hammer, combat. Yeah. Combat will play a role very soon, I assure you. Um, so here we go. Uh, once you have items, you can scroll through with the mouse wheel. You can place them in different areas. You can kind of style your shop. Later in the game, you can actually move around these stands and kind of set things up how you want them to be. It's really neat. But for now, uh, we're just going to place our potions on these shelves. I might need to lower the sensitivity even more a little bit real quick. There we go. Just stock these shelves. We got health potions up there. Let's get some mana potions up there. Let's see, wooden shield, where would be a good place for that? Maybe just on these tables, have some wooden shields. Some swords over here. 
Uh, some leather gloves over by the swords. Mm, arrows, I'm, uh, we're gonna have a special on arrows. We're gonna place those right there. Toss our dragon's helms up there. Uh, wizard robes can go back here. They're not super well organized right now. What is that? Oh, those are gloves. Okay. It's like, it looks very tiny. Uh, leather chest piece. Um, we can put these back here, even though these are facing the wrong way. Gold shield. Nice. Okay, so that's currently all of our items. Uh, when we come over and pick them up, we can actually adjust the price with plus or minus. And if we want to um, do it a little faster, we can hold shift. So we sell them for like 140%. Make a little bit of a profit. And for some reason... Uh, you can't set prices for individual items. Maybe you can, I'm just not figuring it out, but whenever I do that, see, look, so it's 145 for arrows, 145%. And it's like that for all the items. So it tells you how much you bought it for and how much it's potentially going to sell for. But let's go ahead and open shop. Now you get a little view outside, because you also got these windows over here. But just your very basic village. Lovely little fountain, nice red roofs. Oh, hello. Come on in, fellas. Peruse my items. If you would. Come on in, guys. I want buckle shield. Yeah, they will prompt you with, um... Oh, crap. Okay, they're already getting... Oops, sorry. Dang it. I'm sorry, guys. I pulled out my sword and scared them off. Okay, they'll be back. The shop will get very dirty over time. Hey, hey. Come here. Oh, God. No. Oops. Oh, hey, stop stealing stuff. Oh, I keep killing innocent people. Okay, so that's something that's going to happen, too. People are going to steal crap from you. Okay, and then you can see on the top right, people are buying stuff. Okay, as long as they're buying it, you, you can tell if they're running, that means they're stealing. Look <laughs> at that guy's arm. <laughs> oh, man. Right off the bat, people stealing stuff like crazy. God. I should probably put my sword away. It's kind of probably scaring customers off. So you got to pay attention. Okay, can I clean him up? Oh, jeez. Okay. And sometimes when people walk into you, they kind of... Make you spring him. Okay, I don't think I can clean him up. You can clean up bodies with the broom. God, I killed two innocent people. I kind of feel bad about that. Okay, it looks like, well, we probably could order a few new things. Probably need some more potions. We're going to pull up the order menu. Go back to shop. Keep. Press Q. Health potions. Mana potions. Uh, let's just, like, buy one more of everything. Okay, we're going to place that order. I uh, don't have to pay taxes just yet. So we have 120 at 150k. Nice. So let's get anti-haggle. Let's just unlock all these. Why can't I unlock that? Not sure. Okay, people are probably stealing stuff. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry! Dang it! Okay, so don't pull out the broom unless you actually... Or not the broom. Don't pull out the sword unless you actually see someone stealing stuff. Otherwise, everyone's just going to run away. And I'm not entirely sure what... Or whether or not keeping the place clean during the actual shift is worth it. Because I can always close up. I can close shop, have people leave, and then clean. Uh, let's see. Has my stuff here yet? Oh, did it get delivered? It did. Excellent. Okay. Whoa. I oh, okay. That thing's... Oh, uh, chest spawning fan. Okay. Okay. That's the thing I bought that uh, reduces the time thi er, the time items take to spawn in, or the new deliveries, by like 15 seconds or whatnot. Okay, let's have a deal on sword up in, up in, up in the fronts. Wizard hats. Wizard robes. Studded gloves. Uh, let's have some arrows. I haven't seen anyone steal anything for a while. It's just like that first five seconds we were open, those dudes ran in and was like, yoink. Okay, looks like we got this shield left, but we got nowhere to put it. Or maybe we can go up on the back here. Nope, okay. Uh, jeez, excuse me, fellas. See, do I have to put- I don't really have to point this at the ground. Okay, that helps. It allows me to look up. Okay, this seems like some sort of- Hey, I see you! Son of a bitch! Get, God, okay, see, now they're all running. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, see, if I designed the shop, I would, like, make 
everything way over here. So at least I can catch them before they run out. Because right now they're coming in, just grabbing the first thing they can see right by the door and just booking it. Let's keep cleaning up. I didn't read in the tutorial if there's any adverse effects to having a dirty shop. Oh, that's another problem I'm having with the uh, collisions. When they walk into me and they kind of just walk underneath me and shoot me up in the air. Okay, we could probably order some more stuff now. Eh? Actually, can I place this? Is there a spot for it? There we go. See, potions. Oh, potions do super well. So we're going to keep ordering those. I'm not really paying... At this point in the game, I'm not paying super close attention to what's uh, selling well and whatnot. But we'll just order some more stuff real quick. And uh, other things we have, we have the sword, we have um, the table, which we can use to repair things. Now they're all running. Ugh. Uh, six, you can, uh, I don't think it's unlocked later, but you can actually build stands. Oh god, here they come. Okay, come on, you bastards. Come here, you. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna back me in the corner. Don't let them back you in the corner. Okay, you can see the bottom, I have the magic bar and the health bar. Ah, crap. Okay. Help me, wizard! What are you doing? <laughs> He's just standing there. Don't you want to help? Oh! Oh god, there's so many of them. And they took me down. Okay, so that's something that can happen. Uh, barbarian raids from time to time. With their sweet, <laughs> drawn-on abs. Alright, shop destroyed. You're overwhelmed by barbarians and your shop is trashed. But where something ends, something begins. Chin up. So we did not make our goal of 5, or 55,000 gold. Which was a little unreasonable. Despite your best efforts, the shop has been vandalized by barbarians because you were doing so good. Doing so well. God, get your grammar right. This means we have to start from the bottom. You will be additionally taxed for one gold every five minutes. Keep your shop appeal no less than 50% on inspection in five minutes. So the new quest goal is to sell 10 health potions, 10 mana potions. Easy enough. Alright, so we're currently closed. Good. Uh, we gotta repair these stands. They're down to 39%. So we'll do that. And then we'll order some new um, health potions and mana potions. And then we'll be good uh, for business. I should probably sweep up a little bit too. This place is a bit of a pig's eye. Ah, much better. Shop is cleaned. Stands are repaired. And we have our delivery. We're going to go pick that up. I only had six gold, so I can only afford to buy um, three health potions. Actually, no, let's stagger them. Bam. 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 Okay. So here we go, let's increase the prices on these bad boys. Um, let's do like 156%, which is good enough. That will get a little bit of a profit. Go ahead and open the doors and let people come in. Come on in, everybody. I just gotta sell 10 of each. Or, er, sorry. Yeah, 10 of each, right? Yes, 10 health potions, 10 mana potions. Oh, I missed a little bit of dirt. Just gonna walk around sweep. Because everyone knows how to professionally sweep. It's just to grab the broom, bring it up to eye level, and just kind of shake it around. Because that's how you properly sweep. Cool, so I can look all the way up. Oh, welcome! If you try and steal anything, I'll kill you. I swear to God. Oh my God, I will mess you up. Alright, cool. He bought a health potion, so now that should reflect there. Fantastic. We'll let them uh, clear out our inventory. Uh, and then we'll order some more. Awesome! Enjoy your mana potion, my friend. Let me just stand back here. Just wait for someone to steal it. Excellent. See, these guys are so well behaved. God, they, they're like pig pen. In the penis. Oh, shit. Come here. God! Okay, I need to get that down. One, two, three, four. Anything else of interest around? Nope, that's it. We have one item. You better buy it or I will... Whoa. You want health potion? Damn it! Well, come back in like 15 seconds. Okay, here, here's your health potion. Come back, come back, come back. Come on. Oh, he's gone forever. Ah, it's okay. The rest of his identical friends are here. Awesome. Thank you very much for your business, sir. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. See, this is like the perfect game for me, because I'm so well acquainted with uh, customer service. Because I do work in a restaurant. <laughs> what else do you have? We ha we got the blue and we got the red, alright? You knew this coming in. It's not like we deceived you in any way. 
Oh, I'm just waiting for someone to steal something. I got my I got my finger over the forward button. Oh, I'm just waiting. Try it. <laughs> Try it, punk. What happens if I stand right here when the stuff spawns in? Ah! <laughs> uh, that worked. Hey guys, come back. I have uh, stuff for you to buy. I guess we could technically lower the prices because our goal isn't to make a lot of money right now. Oh no, I guess it is because we need the money to uh, buy the other potions. Let's see, we sold four and five. Yeah, they seem to be coming in relatively slow. Thank you for your patronage. I hope you use that health potion to smite some sort of skeleton man dragon thing. God, I just feel like this is sweeping simulator 2015 now. Oh, sweet. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. God, I pulled out the sword and scared them all away. You know, they clearly live in a fantasy land where swords aren't that big of an issue. I mean, I sell them. They shouldn't react that adversely to swords. What else do you have here? I don't... You want my broom? Get out of here. What happens if I kill people? Just get. I don't need your nonsense. Oh, okay. oh no, you don't. Shit, shit. Oh, God. Okay, well, I killed the guy that stole it, but... I killed the other two. Oops. Okay, hopefully that won't... I don't know, hopefully the cops don't come? I don't even know if there's a disadvantage or a... Oh crap, they actually bought stuff. So I got their gold, but I got to keep the inventory. So I think I found the perfect system. I've got to sell one more uh, health potion, two more mana potions. Hey buddy, uh... Let me just sweep these up real quick. There we go. It's like they were never here. Oops, he's still here. Don't mind him. Thank you for your business. Thank you for not stealing, like the rest of your identical twins. I'm watching you. I am watching you. I will broom you. Oh my god. I know it's actually they actually say things when they um buy things. I heard someone earlier go like fantastic. I was like, yes, it is fantastic. Not exactly what I was looking for. Great doing business here. Take my money. Okay, just one more health potion. You know you want to get a health potion, buddy. Come on. Sir, you look like you're interested in a bone of fine genuine health potion. Scenario complete! You win by selling the needed item amount. You've unlocked the sh my shop mode. Fantastic. See that? That was a lot easier than <laughs> collecting 55,000 gold. So, I'm relatively certain you're supposed to fail that first scenario. Hand protection. Okay, adventurers tend to like sharp things, and sometimes those sharp things come in contact with the fleshy fingers. Okay, so they want us to sell some gloves in this next scenario. But we're actually going to go back to the main menu just to show you guys uh, the My Shop mode. So basically, it's more of a free play sandbox mode. In free play mode, you can build your dream shop and manage it. Unlock new items uh, to order by completing scenarios. So in this one, you can actually only order the things you have unlocked. In these scenarios. So it kind of gives you incentive to do the scenarios, which is basically the campaign mode. But yeah, there's only one shop right now. I'm sure there'll be more added in the future. Different shapes, different sizes, different settings, maybe even some different NPC. But I'm really enjoying this game right now, guys. It's really pretty casual, fun little game. Uh, great, yeah, great indie dev team. I've talked to them a bit on Twitter. I've been following the development. I'm excited to see where this game goes. Really liking the soundtrack. Hell, there's even like robots you can get at some point. These guys right here, they're like steam powered robots. Good soundtrack, good visuals, fun little casual um, simulator tycoon experience. Well, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Want to see more shopkeep in the future? Be sure to check out the uh, Steam page in the description below. It's on sale right now for 10% off. And I'll see you next time. Thank you all so much for watching. And a quick shout out to my patrons. Click. Burt Macklin FBI, The New Warden, D-Pay, and Tiny Pirate. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if anyone else is interested in supporting the channel, you can visit patreon.com slash ctop. Thanks for watching.